Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with the Daily Market Insight for Tuesday, the 2nd of November. All right, not too much to uh, get confused with at the moment. The uh, Just a bit of a snapshot where we are. US equities, let me just fix that up. A uh, little bit lower, okay, the uh, equity futures, I should say. So giving us a bit of a risk off day. And that's what we've seen, the dollar block going down, the dollar pairs going up. You know, they're not flying away, but that's the sort of setup we've got. Now, there's only one thing really major coming out, right? It's the RBA cash rate decision. Now, no change of rates expected, right? I think they're talking about 2024 as the as the time when they might consider raising um, interest rates or doing something like that. So that's your benchmark. If they say anything about 2023, the Aussie's going to rally. Now, I actually think there's a little bit built in. The Aussie has actually been holding up quite well. So I'm thinking if there's no adjustment, like say to late 2023, like a lot of the central banks are bringing forward their guidance now. If the RBA doesn't do it, there's a bit built into it. I think we might see the Aussies sort of slip away to the downside. Now, just having a quick look at the charts. Okay, the um, some major cleanouts here, both sides of Euro, back in the range. Okay, now we've got, uh, so that's a little bit tricky, right? We've got today's RBA. We've got the FOMC Wednesday. Thursday, the Bank of England, and obviously non-farm payrolls Friday. So plenty to play for. Now, the sterling looks like it's found a new home down here around 136, sort of 60, 70, 50, around there somewhere. Um, I don't think much is going to move that ahead of the FOMC and the Bank of England, to be honest. But these are the pairs here, or the Aussie will be a major pair in play today, Aussie and Aussie crosses. As I said, I think there's a fair bit built in to them bringing forward uh, there's some um, prospects for higher rates. So if they don't, I think we could see it lower. But at the moment, it's sort of just drifting around without, you know, nothing really sticking, right? The strong US numbers, the strong US dollar move isn't sticking. Nothing's really bringing it down. Nothing's taking it higher. So it's a bit of a weird one. And the Kiwi, okay, no surprise, it's following the Aussie there at that stage. Um Dollar CAD, well, oil still whipping about, but we're sort of still banging away in a decent sort of range. Looks like a bit of a home right here around 123 and a half. Dollar yen, I think we're building up for another move. This will be more important come the FOMC. I think a, a very hawkish FOMC, and we see dollar scream to the top side. Um, at the moment, euros on its, I mean, dollar Swiss is on its knees. You know, if that comes back, obviously euro is going to fall and the dollar index still sort of moseying along to the top side. So really, Aussie, the focus, we do have a, a support trend line down here, just under 75 to figure to work with, with the potential break. If there is no sort of move of the uh, forward guidance from the RBA, outside of that, you're pretty much waiting, right? There's not, uh, there's no big heavy hitting data releases coming out here. So don't sit in front of the screens waiting for something to happen. The, the big moves, as I said, the market's anticipating the FOMC gets a movement there, then the Bank of England. But today it's the RBA. As I said, no change of rates. If there's no change of rates expected, these events can become extremely hard to trade, right? You get them coming out with their statement. And then, you know, usually there's a few loose comments here and there as well. So just bear in mind, that's not going to be an easy trade setup. But, uh, you know, stranger things have happened. As I said, if they're very clear and bringing forward their forward guidance to 2023, well, then we will see a stronger Aussie. If not, I think we could see a drift lower. That's my take on it anyway. Good luck, guys. All the best. Cheerio.